Welcome to Your Golf Channel. Uh, I'm your PGA coach, Jed Walters, and if you are looking to hit your irons more consistently, then you're in the right place. Let's go and dive in. So our first tip for that consistency in the iron strikes is getting the feeling that we get the loft on the club face to cover the golf ball. So we see how the, la uh, the, the loft moves forward, how the shaft leans forward, and that's the feeling of covering the ball through impact. Um, what normally happens to people who miss strike is, apart from those misses across the face, generally it's this happening. So we get a leaning back of the shaft, an addition of loft as we try and sort of hit up on it, and that really affects the quality of the strike. So from your perspective looking down on the golf ball if from your impact you felt like the loft looked like it was covering the golf ball leaning forward with the shaft and then increasing the crease that you have in your trail wrist so if we look out here it's feeling like this increase the wrist here so the shaft i'm exaggerating it here so it leads really forward but instead of scooping this way so we get this action here we want to feel like we keep that lead that trail wrist creased so it's the lead wrist that stays nice and flat and from that perspective there as we come down into the golf ball and we maintain some more of that it looks like the loft is moving down less loft on the face covering the golf ball encouraging then more of that downward angle of attack so more of that ball and turf contact now the things that we've got to make sure we do at that same time is we are not delivering the club steeply because if we deliver the club steeply then we're just going to drive the club into the ground and we're going to struggle to get that consistency in the strike so we need to have the feeling that we are swinging from the inside out so if i was to put the golf ball here we see the alignment stick on the ground if that was our say ball to target line i would need to be feeling that i was swinging from the inside so my side of the ball to target line and i'm going to keep the club moving out so as we go through here we're retaining the angle we're swinging from the inside out and then we're really going to get that lovely quality strike now don't get this feeling confused with we've got to hold it all the way through we are going to release we need to release for the speed but we want that feeling of release to be maybe two feet after the golf ball so somewhere in this area here where lead shoulder lead arm shaft club head are fully extended so they are beyond the impact at that point so we're retaining the angle feeling like we cover the golf ball releasing it as we go through into that sort of maybe two feet area beyond the ball round and through and into your finish right let me hit one so you can get an idea from down the target line of that inside out image so from the top feeling like i'm going to be swinging and releasing this way as we go through and really getting that idea of covering the golf ball with the loft from there we get a really nice quality strike nice centered hit and that consistency in those iron strikes is really going to start ramping up with those feelings a key area which really influences the quality or the poor quality of the strike is whether or not we rotate or we early extend in the downswing. So early extension is a common fault for people who would hit the ground too soon or they're trying to influence the golf ball. So from the top of the backswing, sometimes that thrust forward from the hips happens early. Sometimes it would happen later in the downswing. So we have more of this movement here and we have less rotation. So the rotation side of it is key for energy. It's key for getting the lowest point of the circle of the swing 
in the right area so we can hit that lovely ball turf strike and really transfer the optimum amount of energy through club into the ball. So if we can get the idea that we stay forward or the chest stays forward more in the downswing, so from the top of the backswing, as you swing down, you feel like your chest, so it could be the zip on your jacket, could be the shirt buttons on your t-shirt, stay forward. And at that same time, instead of that happening and standing up, now you can turn and move the body around the circle. So the belt buckle, if we like, would continue its movement around the center of the hips. You could use the idea that your lead hip was the key. So as your top of your back swing, your chest stays forward, your lead hip turns around the corner and keeps going. And then we keep the movement going through. We stay down till beyond the release. So a couple of feet beyond the golf ball. And then we'll continue that momentum up, round, through into the finish, at which point we will be upright then. So that key feeling, chest staying forward, lead hip turning around the corner as we go through into the finish against that feeling of standing up and trying to just function the outcome. So a couple of practice swings to get that feeling from the top, staying forward and we do slowly turn in the corner with the lead hip, getting the feeling that everything's moving around to face your target. You know, the more you do it and rehearse it, the easier it is for you to start to process that into your shots. You might find that you'll reach a level of speed where you can stay forward and rotate before you start to early extend again. So when you're practicing at the range or at the practice ground, you know, hit some shots in slower speeds first to get used to the feeling and then build that speed level up to becoming your normal game and speed. And you can notice there how I'm still tilted slightly to the right as I've gone through. So I've rotated, left hip has gone around the corner, forward angle has been maintained and the strike was pretty good. One of the biggest problems when it comes to consistency in striking your irons is the delivery of the golf club from the top of the backswing into impact. And too many golfers deliver that golf club too steeply um, and they don't really know how to shallow the club to deliver it on the right angle. So when we're thinking about the steepness and delivering the club too steeply from the top of the backswing, it's the image of the club being vertical as it moves down. So you can see how the shaft is stood upright here. And when it gets into that position there, it keeps going. So it starts moving outside the body, outside of the hands, as you can see from there. And then it generally moves across the golf ball. So swings across. Now at this stage, we're quite good at functioning. So we'll put the club face to target and that's where we get the slices. Um, we'll hit pulls if we match the club face up with that direction to the left for me as a right-handed golfer um, or to the right if you're a left-handed player. So what we want to try and do is get the feeling that the club is traveling on a more shallow, so angled delivery. So from the top of the backswing, how do we get the golf club to be more this way? Well, the easy way to feel the club there is to lower your arms. So as I lower my arms, you can see how the club gets into that shallow position. Um, now, it's a downward vertical movement. I'm not lowering them and going out. I am moving them vertically down. So when we get to the top of the backswing, what we want to think about is the arms lowering. And as the arms lower, I can move the pressure of the body towards the target and I can start to rotate. And as I rotate, the club head then is moved around the circle in a more efficient way. It's delivering the club from a slightly more inside to out delivery. So I've got the possibility then of hitting straight shots or draws. I've got the club traveling on a nice downward angle, so the consistency of the strike is going to be much better. Um, so what we want to be thinking about is a little drill really from the top of the backswing of lowering the arms and then from that point turning the lead hip around the corner 
and going through to your finish. Now, it's not going to be easy to hit golf balls doing this, but it is definitely something that I would recommend you do is in this three stages, is just practice hitting some shots and, you know, start off with short irons, go wedges, you know, and then get good with that feeling and move up to slightly more lower lofted clubs. But getting that feeling of from the top of your backswing, lowering the arms, turning around the corner and just clipping it, just chipping it out there. It's not about getting any distance, it's about maintaining the movement pattern so that we can start to deliver the club in a more efficient way. Once we get to that stage where we're delivering the club in that much more efficient way, then when that comes into the full swing feeling, we can just focus on that lowering at the top and trust that the rotational side of the swing is gonna be in place and we can start to strike the ball really, really nicely, much more consistently. You're gonna find you'll hit the target more often, you'll have more control, and that's gonna give you more success when you're out on the golf course. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope this has helped you to increase the consistency that you're getting from your iron strikes. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up and let me know that you're enjoying the content. Uh, if you have any comments on this video or any video that you may like to see if in the future, just post those comments down in that comments box there below. Um, also, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and click the little bell notification as well down there. So that'll notify you every time time we launch a new video lesson here on your golf channel finally thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson